The ABS wheel speed sensor, also known as the wheel speed sensor or ABS sensor, is a critical component of the ABS system. Its primary function is to monitor the rotational speed of each wheel and provide this information to the ABS control module and other vehicle dynamic systems. If the ABS module detects any of the wheels slowing too rapidly during a hard braking maneuver, the hydraulic control unit will automatically use its isolation solenoids to block brake fluid pressure to any or all wheels that are beginning to slide, which helps keep you in control of the vehicle. Now, locating the ABS wheel sensor is essential for troubleshooting. The ABS wheel speed sensors are typically located near each wheel hub or axle. They are positioned very close to a toothed wheel, often called a tone ring or reluctor ring, which is attached to the wheel hub or axle. As you can see here, the sensor is mounted near the wheel hub, right next to the tone ring. The tone ring spins with the wheel and the sensor reads the speed by detecting the teeth on the ring. Now that we know what the ABS sensor does and its location, let's dive into the symptoms of a bad ABS wheel speed sensor. Symptom number one, the ABS warning light comes on. When the ABS warning light remains illuminated on the dashboard, it indicates a problem within the ABS system. A malfunctioning ABS wheel sensor is a common cause for this light to come on, signaling that the ABS system is not functioning properly. The number two symptom is wheel lockup during hard braking. Without accurate wheel speed data from the ABS wheel sensor, the ABS system cannot prevent wheel lockup effectively. As a result, wheels may lock up during hard braking, leading to loss of vehicle control. The third symptom is longer stopping distances. With a faulty ABS wheel sensor, the ABS system may not activate properly during hard braking, leading to longer stopping distances and reduced braking performance. The fourth symptom is traction control light illuminated. Many modern vehicles use the ABS wheel speed sensors for traction control systems. A faulty sensor can cause the traction control warning light to illuminate, resulting in decreased vehicle stability during acceleration and cornering. The number five symptom is hill hold control warning light illuminated. A faulty ABS wheel speed sensor can cause the hill hold control warning light to illuminate indicating that the system is not functioning properly. The sixth symptom is diagnostic trouble codes. A scan of the vehicle's onboard diagnostic system may reveal specific trouble codes related to the ABS wheel speed sensors, indicating which sensor is malfunctioning. The retrieved trouble codes will indicate the exact nature and location of the problem. Later in this video, we'll discuss common trouble codes associated with a bad ABS wheel sensor. Now that we understand the symptoms of a faulty ABS wheel speed sensor, let's delve into the causes of faulty ABS wheel speed sensor. The first cause is mechanical damage. Physical damage to the sensor or its components can impair its ability to function correctly. This can result from impacts, vibrations, or improper handling during maintenance. The second cause is break in the tone ring. The tone ring or reluctor wheel works with the ABS wheel sensor to provide accurate wheel speed readings. Cracks or breaks in the tone ring can cause the sensor to send inaccurate or erratic data to the ABS control module. The third cause is internal short circuits. Electrical issues within the sensor itself, such as short circuits, can prevent it from sending correct signals to the ABS control module. The fourth cause is electrical issue, poor connections across electrical connectors, broken wiring, blown fuses, loss of ground, or issues with previously repaired wires can disrupt the connection with the ABS wheel sensor. When dealing with a bad ABS wheel sensor, it's crucial to understand its impact on your vehicle's onboard diagnostics. A malfunctioning ABS wheel sensor can trigger OBD2 trouble codes, providing valuable insights into the problem. Retrieve the trouble codes using a diagnostic tool, which will indicate the exact nature and location of the issue. The list of related codes can be extensive, covering various aspects of the ABS system. Check the video description for detailed explanations of these codes and their meanings. In addition, 
explore our playlist on how to fix common trouble codes, where we provide step-by-step -step guides for diagnosing and resolving OBD2 codes. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above and the ABS wheel sensor has been checked and found to be in working order, but the issue persists, it's essential to inspect the other components of the anti-locking brake system that exhibit the same symptoms of bad ABS wheel sensor. Issue number one is the malfunctioning ABS control module. The ABS control module processes the signals from the wheel speed sensors and controls the anti-lock braking system. If the control module is faulty, it may not interpret the sensor signals correctly, leading to the ABS light being illuminated and loss of anti-lock braking function. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a faulty ABS control module. The number two issue is a faulty ABS hydraulic control unit valves. The ABS system includes solenoid valves that control brake fluid pressure to prevent wheel lockup. If these valves become stuck or fail, they can cause issues similar to a bad wheel sensor, such as reduced braking performance and ABS warning lights. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a faulty ABS control valve. The number three issue is a faulty ABS pump. The ABS pump maintains brake fluid pressure in the brake lines during ABS activation. A malfunctioning pump can result in inadequate brake fluid pressure, causing the ABS system to fail and triggering warning lights on the dashboard. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a bad ABS pump. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe for more content on automotive diagnostics and repair. Your support helps us create more valuable content like this. Thank you for watching.